Hi, back again, Bob Gatson. I want to show you how to tune your bass drum and set your bass drum up for a great sound. Okay. Uh, first, we're going to concentrate on the batter head. Just like the Tom Tom, put the head on. We, we've, we've set it up so that we can save time. So just put the head on and do the same thing. Make sure it doesn't touch the shell or any of that stuff. All right, then insert the lugs and get the head in a position where it's, you know, it's hardly resonating. And then we want to just, again, we don't want to crank this down. We just want to give it... I'm going to use two keys because I can get around the drum faster. Key technique again. Yeah. Okay, now drum is almost resonating. Go around a little bit here, here, here. And if you ever want to feel where the head is at, you can lean over your drum like this here with your hand on the head and you can feel exactly when it tensions. That's another good way to, as an indicator. Okay, so now. This is definitely resonating now. So we got to get what I call LPP, lowest possible pitch. Unlike the tom-tom, it's really difficult to hear a pitch from this drum, so you're kind of off the hook here. You have to use your instinct. Just use your intuition. Like, if, think of it as the bass drum as, as the heartbeat of the drum kit. So it should sound like a heart beating. Bo-go, bo-boo, bo All right? That's what we're aiming for. So lowest possible pitch. Here's the way you get it. This is a cool technique. Put your hand in the center, put a, apply a little pressure, and watch the edges of the head right in here, very carefully in the reflection of the head. Detune it one by one till you start seeing wrinkles appear. Now, you can see right there. See the right look in this area right here. Okay. And as they appear, you let them wrinkle and then bring them up like that. Wrinkle move the wrinkle up. Wrinkle, same thing. You see them right in here. Wrinkle, bring it up. Just slightly. Wrinkle, bring it up. Look for the wrinkle, bring it up, and then let go, and boom. Head. That's just about the lowest pitch you're going to get from this drum. If you want to just add a little bit of a pitch higher, you could just go around just a quarter of a turn each way like this. There you go. Ooh, ah, that sounds good, huh? Okay, now this is an EMAD 2, and this is a really cool head because it's got what we call an externally mounted adjustable dampening system. And this slips in here like this. Instead of getting that open sound, this is going to really lower the pitch of the bass drum, big time. And we have different um, foam rings that go in. They're different uh, widths, so you get different amounts of tensioning. Pretty fast, you know. Now listen. Nice thud. <clears throat> yeah, but we're not done yet. We're going to make this even better than that. Okay, another part of setting your bass drum up is to put a, some dampening in the inside of the drum. Um, we have special pads for this uh, that we invented. We call it EQ pads, and it's called a... EQ RGS pad. This one is an adjustable one. I'll show you. It's really cool. Now, let me just, this is really important. So listen in. It's very important to put a piece of anything that's absorbent, absorbent material in the drum because it absorbs a frequency that allows the fundamental pitch to, to sing much more. So there's three settings you can have for this. Well, three primary ones. You can really fool with these. If you don't, if you want your drum to sound, be wide open, no muffling on the heads, just put it in there like that. This is like a sound absorption material. All right? This is going to make the drum sound better just by being in the drum itself. If you want to muffle the drum, you can put it on these, put it here, and you can, you see this is a reactive pad. It comes on and off. Now, another cool little feature. If you like a lot of pressure, you like the back head to feel nice and stiff and solid, you can also press this onto it, and it, what it does is it puts more pressure up against the back of the head. If you're a real, you really like a damp drum, you like it to be like, uh, 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 uh. you know, you put a mic inside, that kind of thing. Now you can place another pad in there, and you can take the little side of this pad, they hook together here, and this would lean against the front head. And that way, you could adjust the amount of um, resonance in the front head as well. Okay, just a, just a quick thing. Uh, I just want to show you my setup. 
I use the EQ pad with the small side just barely touching it, pulling that pad forward, just barely touching that back head and leaving the front head wide open. With the new EQ, um, uh, EQ pad front head, I, it, it, I don't require any muffling of the front head now. This is a great setup. Also, this is a really slick thing about the pads is that often when you're miking, you can now take the microphone and place it right here. You can just lay it down right in the pad. Um, this is especially good for drummers that are out working, you know, doing stage shows and that kind of thing where they don't put a mic stand inside the drum. They just put the mic right in here. It rests beautifully right here. It really works well. Okay, now we're going to finish putting this together by putting the front head on. Um, I've already tuned this up to save some time. And um, what we'll do now is we'll do the wrinkle technique for lowest possible pitch. And I remember that in a bass drum, the, the tuning is very, very limited. It's, it's, it's as low as the head will go and maybe a little bit higher. But the only other application where you would have a high pitch in the bass drum would be maybe a small jazz bass drum, you know, so it has like a tone to it. So here we go. See if we see those wrinkles. I can see that. Okay, that one's moving. Okay. Yeah. Move, keep moving until they move. And back. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wrinkles. Okay, there we go. There. Oh yeah, look at those babies. You never think you'd get excited about wrinkles, but I do. Ooh, now they go away. Ha! Look at that. Magic. Whoa, look at that. That's happening. That's how you get the lowest pitch out of the front head. Now, we're going to tune it by hitting it with a bass drum pedal. Okay, the final step, tuning the front head on the drum while hitting it with the bass drum. Okay. Remember, we talked about you can't really hear pitch, so what you're listening for is you know, you're just listening for the right, just the right resonance. Turn each low, go over, bring it back down, go over, bring it back down. Find the low spot. Okay, I like a little resonance and a little higher than the lowest. Like right about there. Okay, so that's a good sound. Now, we, we want to go around and kind of check it too. And the way to do that is to strike it in the center. Listen to, the, listen to it very carefully. Try to get yourself right close up to the drum. You know, it's a little difficult when someone's playing a pedal, uh, playing it with a pedal. But you know, you just listen to the resonance, and then go to the edges. See, I want that one went down. This will go down a little bit, maybe. No. Just try to get as low as you can. Now, about around the hole, that's a problem because when you put a six inch hole in a vibrating head, hmm, it does a little something to it. Well, wouldn't you know it? We've come up with a kind of a solution for that. This is the EMAD Rezo, and this little ring, what it does is it goes over the hole like this, and it does a couple of things, but it dampens the overtones that the hole produces and, lets, and lowers the pitch of the drum. Now, hit it now, Mike. And hit it soft, in soft. Okay, now keep playing. Now watch what happens. Big difference, huh? Gets the drum centered the sound, gets the lower fundamental, lowers the pitch of the drum, and it's just this simple little thing. They got scientists working at Evans, I'm telling you. Well, that about wraps it up. Thanks for coming to the website. Now that you've tuned up each individual drum, put them together as a kit and start playing. Pick up my tuning DVD. Thank you. Explore all Evans has to offer to create your own personal sound. And above all, make your drum feel good, and your drum will make you feel good.